Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Welcome to the Woods. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something I've been researching heavily lately, which is how to get paint off of wood siding. Now, my paint job looks good to the naked eye, but when you look a little further, you can see that this paint is not adhered well. On the bottoms, it's flaking off, and once you start to get a spot, it can just peel up with your fingers. There's no adhesion whatsoever. And so as I got further into this process of prepping this house to get painted, I'm learning more and more and realizing that I need to get off the majority of this paint job. Now, this is a huge task and there are lots of ways that one can go about this. So I'm going to test out multiple in this video. The first most traditional method is to simply scrape and an old paint scraper with a like wire brush on the other side is going to take me forever. A paint scraper is also very hard on your wrists. And so not only is it um, time consuming and painful, but it's just not the most efficient way to get rid of chipping paint. Mine was coming off so easily, just even by using my fingers, I was peeling off large sections of paint. And I'll get into that later, why mine didn't adhere. But the main problem with doing this method is that the paint you leave behind has a ridge. This is going to telegraph through the next layer of coating you put on, whether that be paint or whatever. And for me, I'm a perfectionist, so I would want to come in and smooth all those edges out with a random orbital sander so they were less visible with the next coating. Now in my particular situation, you can see that this house has been painted not one, not two, not three, but four four times because when I sand it I can see four different shades of paint and this is cedar lap siding when I'm peeling the paint off I'm also seeing that it's wet the cedar is actually absorbed moisture behind the paint layer and that's what's caused it to peel off in large sheets uncovering this situation made me feel so frustrated as you can imagine and I'm thinking through how I'm going to get the bare spots of wood to look good next to the painted areas but I think we're going to have to take off all the paint. So I have some ideas. Here's how. First idea is to pressure wash. And the problem with pressure washing is that it makes my already wet wood even wetter. It only really worked when I came at it with a zero degree tip at an angle like this. Then we started to see some paint removal, but this is a costly way to remove it because it's using electricity and water. Plus it's also kind of slow going and it leaves a mess. You also risk the pressurized water damaging things on the exterior of your house. Pressure washing is also not the most thorough. It's still going to leave edges where there's paint that I have to feather out with a sander. So let's bring in the power tools. I'm going to get my hair tied back and my PPE on, and we're going to try out some different angle grinder attachments as well as a attachment on my oscillating multi-tool. We take this quick break to discuss the sponsor of this video, which is BetterHelp. You know, there are certain practices in your life that just dramatically improve it. Well, therapy has been that for me. I have been in therapy for about five months, and I want to normalize going to therapy because everybody could benefit, no matter if you think your problems are insignificant or small. BetterHelp is an awesome, convenient option for people seeking therapy because everyone deserves to be happy. BetterHelp offers phone, video, and even live chat therapy sessions with trained professionals. And you don't even have to be on camera if you don't want to be. Sometimes I have a temper with my children. And in therapy, I've learned a lot about the emotion of anger, how it's a secondary emotion, and how if you can get to the root of what is causing the anger, you can a lot of times dissipate or prevent it altogether. Having a therapist who specialized in anger is what really helped me the most. Now, BetterHelp's 20,000 therapists have a broad range of expertise, so you can find someone who specializes in what you're dealing with that might not be available locally in your area. All you have to do to get started is fill out a questionnaire and you can be matched with a therapist in as little as 48 hours. Now, you can schedule video or phone calls or whatever as it fits your schedule. And it's very, very convenient to use. You can also exchange unlimited messages. There's no additional charge if you need to switch therapists and everything you share is completely confidential. Join the three million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health and worked with a better health therapist because you deserve to be happy. Now you guys can get 10% off the first month at betterhelp.com backslash welcome to the woods. 
and the link is in the description on this video. Okay, first power tool is called the Dima Brush. This has six blades that are diamond crusted and they spin around uh, to basically cut the paint off. I have a dust shroud on here that I'm going to hook into a shop vac. And my dust shroud has this like movable top piece that allows it to have a straight top. It can get right underneath the lap of each piece of siding. So let's test this baby out. It just attaches to a regular angle grinder, right? And mine's battery powered, but we quickly learned that you need a corded angle grinder for this job because the battery goes out so quick. So the Dima brush is doing a very quick job of paint removal and it's also quite thorough. I was super impressed at first and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the solution. This is how we're going to get all the paint off. But I did after a while recognize some pitfalls of this method. The first is that you really have to keep this brush moving. It is very abrasive. It cuts the paint off and it also sands into the wood. And if you tip it too far to one side, it gouges so fast. The second is that it leaves little fine debris everywhere. Now I knew on this house I was not dealing with lead paint, but this is absolutely not an effective way to remove paint if you have lead in it because Oh my gosh, the little fine debris, it's nearly impossible to protect your lungs from breathing some of this in. Before running the Dima brush over your siding, you want to check for nails that are sticking out and hammer them in. I don't know if this is what causes it, but every so often the Dima brush will lose a blade and then it renders it useless because it wobbles and it's uneven. So they're kind of expensive at... 50 or even 60 dollars per attachment per blade and they do like probably 200 to 400 square feet depending on how you're using it but here in this clip you can witness the awesome power of this tool and how thoroughly it gets off the paint now that nail that i tried to hammer in it didn't go down all the way and with the diamond brush went over it thankfully i didn't lose one of the blades but it actually just sliced the nail head right off so this just goes to show how powerful this machine really is. The other thing I really liked about the Dima brush is it left the wood fairly smooth. It has some swirl marks, which we're going to sand out later, but it gets rid of that natural cedar texture, all those ridges in the grain. So if you like that, you probably shouldn't use this for paint removal, but I liked my laps a little smoother. Now let's go through this. This is a sanding sponge. It's kind of like the Wagner paint eater. It's a similar concept to that power tool. I'm going to put this on my angle grinder and we're going to try it out. So where the diamond brush was blades cutting into the wood, this attachment is kind of like a glorified sander. It removes paint about as rapidly as like a belt sander and it's actually good for like feathering edges because this is wearing down the layers of paint. It's not chipping them off so there's no rough edges like with the scraper or the pressure washer. It's all smooth once you go over it. I couldn't use it with my dust shroud. It just didn't, it, they weren't compatible. And so this kicked debris up everywhere. Not quite as messy as the Dima brush without the dust shroud, but still. This sanding sponge was Definitely not as quick as the Dima brush, but it was very effective until it started to clog. So after a while, the paint gets gummed up inside these sponges. And when you buy them, they usually comes in like packs of five or six because this is a common thing that happens after just a short while. So I found the most useful method for this particular tool was to go underneath each lap. The Dima brush made quick work of removing the paint along the front face of each lap but these sponges could carefully get underneath the lap and in between to remove the rest of the paint. Now that we've tested a glorified sander, let's test a glorified scraper. This is a scraper blade attachment on my oscillating multi-tool. This is gonna work in my application because my paint is peeling off the wood. As long as I can get the scraper blade behind the paint, it's gonna peel up just fine like this. But if yours is chipping, not peeling, then I can't imagine this is going to work super well. This does gouge the wood somewhat, so you definitely still have to sand afterwards before painting. But this method is really good for getting into tight spaces and sometimes using it on the underside of the lap in areas where the Dima brush and my sanding sponge is not going to get. 
there you have it. I tested out lots of different methods. I hope you learned something helpful in this video for your project, getting paint off of wood. And I didn't test out sandblasting. I'm sure you're wondering why. It's because a sandblaster that was industrial enough to do this job was way, way too expensive. And I couldn't find a sandblaster in my area who was willing to do this big of a project. You can see though that we are getting pretty far using the tools at my disposal I showed off in this video. So let me know in the comments below if this was helpful and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Welcome to the Woods.